day. We're here at the garden enjoying some wonderful fragrance. And we have a great collection of viburnums. What we love about viburnums is they actually flower and then they bury, so they're great for the wildlife, which we actually got some bird feeders right next to this viburnum right here. This is a, a cross viburnum, viburnum cayuga is the common name for it. It is viburnum um, carlcephalum is the uh, Latin name for it. That's the hard thing when you're going shopping for plants. It is best that you know the genus and species if you want to be specific. But there's a lot of great viburnums out there that you could choose to add to your garden. Uh, this one is actually deciduous, but we have some that are semi-evergreen. We have some vi viburnums out here that are evergreen with wonderful glossy leaves. But the fragrance is what I'm really getting out of this, and you can smell it from a long way away. So if you haven't added fragrance to your garden, it's a great way besides just the visual that you can add things into your yard. This one prefers actually some sun, so it can do in some heart shade, but having all the sun is actually why this one's flowering so well. It likes moist, kind of loamy soil, so you want good drainage, but we actually have it next to a stream bed here, which is great for it. So it has pretty consistent watering. So if you're thinking about adding some viburnums to your yard, Come take a look at the Humphrey Temple Garden. Take a look at our collection that we've got here. We've got several to choose from. And please don't miss a chance to come and smell the flowers. You, got, you want to get a close-up of these flowers? Because they've got a wonderful bud color and also a flower color on them as well. When we think about pollinators, we want to add lots of different variety of plants um, to our yard. We don't think about it because it's a little chilly today. But actually, they're, they're already out pollinating, just not, not of these temperatures. But later on, as it warms up, we'll definitely start to see some insects pollinating on this viburnum. So thanks for joining us for Garden Chat, and hope you come out and visit us.